This muscled bird on a toilet is going to be the rarest item we can find. <laughs> Today we're going to be unboxing two of the most ridiculous mystery boxes that I could find, and they are bird themed. They're also very weird, and awkward, and bizarre, and they're just going to be one of the biggest mystery box challenges we're gonna do. <laughs> Maybe not the biggest mystery box, but definitely one of the weirdest. And we do have two different sets. One is going to be a mini and the other one is going to be a little larger. And the larger set is called Bad Bad Birdie Love. And each one of these is a premium mystery box, a kind of luxury vinyl figurine toy for collectors, coming in at around $13.60 each. And as we can see on the website, there are some pretty cool looking birds, including the one in the back in a kind of detective suit and the super rare one being being the birdie thinker, you know, the one on the turlet. <laughs> And as you can see, it does say that the whole box has the set that is unrepeated. So hopefully we can get all six of them, plus the rare. We're hoping here. So there's a cute maid bird, there's a lollipop, gangsta bird, a little turlet one, that's cute. And then this one that's a cockatoo reminds me of my own verb. And this one. I don't know why, but I really want this bunch so bad. And then the second set that we're going to be looking at is this one here called Love Bird, Little Bird Egg. And these are the ones that we can get, any of them. And the funny thing is, the rare one is an emo bird. This is a vibe. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this one yet, so let's start right away with the first box. <clears throat> are you tired of large jugs of liquid detergent? Just look at this so clumsy. <laughs> In all honesty, <laughs> me too, which is why I'd like to talk about today's sponsor, Earth Breeze. For those of you who don't know Earth Breeze, it is a laundry detergent eco sheet. No plastic jug, no mess. Even for those of you who are looking for a powerful cleaning experience, Earth Breeze eco sheets will deliver. But in addition to that, they are dermatology tested, hypoallergenic, free of bleach, dyes, and parabens, and there's also a fragrance-free option, which means it's kind to sensitive skins, and yes, even to <coughs> babies. And I know that many of your grains are like me, so heavy jugs are really a pain in the behind. So having these eco sheets take literally a fraction of the space is absolutely convenient and it's easier on our backs and limbs. And if for any reason whatsoever, you decide to go back to your old stuff, you will get a full refund on your Earth Breeze purchase. No questions asked. And one of the many other things that I love about Earth Breeze Eco Sheets is that making a positive impact on the planet doesn't have to come at your cost because these tiny sheets can stop millions of detergent jugs from entering our ecosystem. And all I'm doing is my laundry as usual. And yes, even the packaging is plastic free as you can see me here, rip it up. It might look like plastic, but it's not. Even though it looks like a dryer sheet, it dissolves in water pretty quickly. So what are you waiting for? Get 40% off your Earth Breeze subscription by going to earthbreeze.com forward slash nerdy crafter to get started with 40% off. That's earthbreeze.com forward slash nerdy crafter for 40% off your subscription. Thank you Earthbreeze for sponsoring a portion of today's video. And so this box itself is actually pretty massive. It's as you could see here it is compared to my hand. So it is pretty big. It actually looks smaller. I, I do have big hands. Look. My hands are pretty big. But it does tell us the chances of getting each creature. This one is a one on six chance. Same for this bird, it's bad, bad bird. This one is Terror Ball the Killer Maid, okay. Poor guy bird, poopin' bird, rainbow bird. They're all the same thing except for that one, which is a one in 96 chances. We would be very lucky to get that one. So let's see if we actually can. So let's see what this box looks like on the inside. Oh my goodness, these are way bigger than I expected. These are huge. It means we might either get all of the main set or basically everything on the main set minus one if we do get the rare. So let's go ahead and start with this one. And again, these are mystery boxes. They all look exactly the same. So we have the same burb at the front, the Kings the Lollipop one. Oh my gosh. This is basically, they all look the same. The boxes are pretty stylish. They do have this comic book type feel to them, which I really do love. Here again, we see the same characters, all the names of them. I really would be happy to get this one just because again, I think it's a pigeon, but we'll take a closer look. And here's what the back looks like. And here's the other side. All right, let's go ahead and see what this bad boy, bad, bad birdie has in store for us. That was satisfying. And I know that usually these mystery boxes do, oh. Okay, I thought these mystery boxes were going to be similar to previous ones, but there is no baggie on the inside. We just get a figurine right away. We already got the preview, but let's go ahead and open it up. So there is no tiny baggie 
inside the mystery itself. Interesting. We have a silica packet. And then, oh my goodness, what is that? What? Okay, I have no idea what these are, but we're gonna find out. And here is our first birdie. Let's get you opened up. Oh my goodness. What? Okay, this feels exactly how it looks. The material itself, hang on, let's get my trusty felt just to get some color in the background. But if you look at this character, it looks fuzzy. It feels like a peach, if that makes sense. It is fuzzy like a peach, which is interesting because I thought the only thing that would feel like a peach would be the limited edition one, but no, all of them have this nice, soft, fuzzy texture. It has a good weight to it. And this is what our burb looks like. Which one are you? We do have a card that comes in here and this one's just called Rainbow Bird and it has all these different thumbs up to it. Why is it getting all these thumbs up? Do they all get thumbs up? No. Okay, so this would explain these over here. So let's go ahead and open these up. Aha. Uh -huh. And we can drop all of this. And it basically looks like we're just adding these little acrylic stands like so. And it seems like we're just giving this burb some confidence with some thumbs up. This is cute. I like it. I'm curious to see the other designs. And the next one over here, again, we're not getting any kind of baggies. It's just directly the mystery box. So I'm going to hide it until we pull it all out. And the answer is, oh, we still what? don't see it. But we do have the card I don't want to look at. You are the murder maid. Let's see what you are. Okay, what is that? No, that's a knife. <laughs> Why is this set talking to me? Why do I like this so much? Oh my goodness. I think we still need our felt. So we're going to go ahead and bring our felt over here. But we do have this peachy texture again on the burb itself. The clothing is actually a, a plastic, interestingly enough. But otherwise, here's what the colors look like. It is beautiful because we do have different colors and gradients on the burb. Where does the knife go though? I'm not sure where the knife goes. Clearly this is supposed to go somewhere. Let's take a look at the card. I don't know. I genuinely have no clue where that knife is gonna go. So give me two seconds. Oh, I see. It's supposed to be right here. <laughs> Right there, like it's being held by the wings. Oh my goodness, look at it. It's definitely hiding something. What are you doing, Birdie? You're such a weirdo. And I love you for it, you're adorable. This is definitely the most unhinged set we have done. <laughs> and then we're going to check out our third character. So we're going to try and keep this as hidden as we can. And you are, oh, I think this is Drama Bird. Let's get this tape removed this is so weird okay and who do we have here oh this is drama burb just falling down with the little feet up in the air so here's what it looks like again very fuzzy peachy i love the layers of the wings and even the shading under the other set of feathers <laughs> And they do have their little tag with their feet here. Again, beautiful shading on the wings on both sides. And the mouth is open like, oh my goodness, I done did the falling down. <laughs> and the name for this one is Poor Guy Bird. And it comes with a little sign. I have no idea what this says, but let me do a Google Translate and let's see what it actually says. And so interestingly enough, according to Google Translate, apparently the text says leave. And this part here says golden winged street bird. But here it is all put together. It's Pretty straightforward. These don't need any kind of building. They're just weird on their own. And we're still aiming for that bird on the turlet. <laughs> That's the one I want, the gigantic budgie one or even the one in that suit. So let's see which one do we get. And we have, oh goodness, that is hard to get out. Okay, that is still a mystery. We're gonna keep the card hidden. <gasps> That's the one I want. Let's get this off. And let's take a closer look at our beefy pigeon. I legitimately thought this was actually a parrot, kind of like mine, because they're fluffy and white, but this is not fluffy. That is a pigeon. Look at the facial expression on this thing. I think it's a pigeon. Because of the glasses, I thought it was the little pigeon nose thing going on. But upon closer inspection, it actually might be a parrot. 
I think it is a parrot. Let me know what you think it is in the comments below, but I definitely feel the fuzzy peachy texture here. We see the beak, we see glasses, a nice little hat. Look at the suit and the details here. There's a little bit of a dirt on the side that we could just scrape right off. And then we have the, oh my goodness, the fists. Oh my gosh, he is making fists. And even the tail is in the suit. This is great detail on this burb. Oh my goodness. This one's perfect. I really love this one. Just needs a little clean up here, but here it is all the way around. And it did come with something. It comes with a little pipe. And even the little smoke has little cloud kind of thing coming out. And I think this would go right here. I feel like this is an opening for the pipe. Yes. <gasps> Stop it. Stop it. I would get this set just for this one. <laughs> why are you so cute? I don't know why I find this cute. And our character card is Black Beak the Mafia. My goodness, you are one classy burb. Looking absolutely phenomenal just standing there. I'm looking forward to displaying this one. Let's see our next burb. So far this set is absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, okay, no, I thought, I thought, hang on. I want you, I want you to see what happened. Okay, I need you to see what I'm, what's happening here. From this color, it's possible that we may have gotten the ultimate rare one because I see blue and white, but I am looking on the side here and the other potential blue and white are these two here. So it's possible that we can get any of these three in this one. The question is, I have goosebumps right now. The question is how lucky are we? How lucky are we? I don't know. So let's open it up. So I want to keep this a surprise for me and for you. So we're just going to pull it out this way. And the answer is, Are you for real? Stop. Stop. Should I be playing some numbers today? What? No. Oh my goodness. Stop it. I can't believe this. Grains, I can't believe this. This is the ultra rare secret character that you have one chance in 90 six boxes to get. We have the toilet budgie. <laughs> I never thought I'd say that. Here's what the toilet looks like. The seat does move up and down, but what? Look at the muscles. This, this, this is a pure work of art and there's a good weight to it. This is a heavy mystery box. This is a really cute figurine. The toilet looks phenomenal. I don't think there's anything in there. No, it's clean. Toilet's ah! very clean. But the back and musculature is <laughs> so good. And he's really thinking. I am smiling so hard right now. My cheeks are hurting. What the heck? I'm loving this. But now it means that we will not be getting one of these. So our only last option is either the lollipop gangster or the other toilet budgie. I feel like this other toilet budgie is like the de-evolution of this one. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Oh, and of course, let's not forget the card. It's called Birdman the Thinker. Bad, bad birdie. Here's what it looks like. Again, all of them are fuzzy peach kind of textured. So before we move on to the next set, we're going to see which is our last character that we can get. Now that we already have a toilet one, I do really want the lollipop one. I'm not too mad if I don't get it because I really wanted that ultra rare. How crazy is that? Okay, and let's just pull it all out. And it looks like we have another toilet bird. I know it's not turlet, I know it's toilet, but I like saying turlet. And my goodness. Oh, it actually comes off. Okay, wait. Does that mean this character comes off? No, I don't think so. It does not. It is, it is wedged on this toilet. But we do have a second toilet here and the seat does seem to go up and down. Here's what it looks like on the inside. The detail's pretty good. If you wanted to sculpt the pooty in there, you could. Here's what it looks like at the bottom. It has a nice weight to it. I always think this one wants to come out, but no. Oh wait, does this come up too? Stop. That's adorable. So these two actually do come up. 
depending on which one you have needs for. And the burp itself has a cute little shy face. So we can see the blush under the eyes. Eyes are closed. Actually, I don't even know if it's blushing or if it's forcing at this point. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is it blushing or is it is it is it pushing? <laughs> what has this channel become? Oh my goodness. So here it is all the way around. I'm surprised they didn't put a little bit of a detail in the back over here. And this is what it looks like sitting. It is a perfect sit on the toilet itself. Absolutely perfect. It is nicely beautiful, adorable. So cute. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next set. By the way, if your grains haven't gotten yourself one of my dragon bags that can be turned into either a purse or a backpack, as you can see here on the pictures. And yes, it comes with the straps you need to make it whatever style you want. Of course, they are adjustable as well. And not only are the straps adjustable, but you can also change the dragon face, whether you want it to be colorful or just a plain white background. And it does have its own dedicated zipper to get to the faces in case you also want to use it as an Eta bag, which means a bag to display your own pins or charms. And again, you can put the pins whether you want it on the white background or ta-da, you can also do it on the colorful background. Not just that, but this bag has space. Let me tell you, you can fit your Switch in there pretty comfortably, a pretty large wallet like you can see mine over here. And heck, why not add your favorite fidget toy too? And yes, there's even space for your phone with all of that in there. The inside also has a zipper to keep some of your more valuables safe. And if you need more space, we do have a zipper in the bag for those items that you want to have more conveniently easily accessible. And I can't tell you enough how many compliments I've gotten just walking around with this bag. So if you're looking for something unique this season to accessorize with, why not check out my dragon bag? Link is on the video as well as under. And this next one is absolutely adorable. Look how small it is in my hands. They are called mini and the picture of that muscled budgie is ridiculous. I have to emphasize how ridiculous, you have to be one of the biggest weird people like me who likes these things. Cause I don't know who else buys these except for you and me. <laughs> and again, you can see how small it is right next to my face. And each one of these will set you back for $7 each. And if you get the whole box, it's about $42. And this is the main set of characters that we can get. So we do have six of them in which the ultra rare is the emo burb in the blankets just crying and it looks so cute. And I'm hoping we do get that one. But to be very honest, the biggest one I really do want is the muscled budgie. Let me know in the comments, which one do you hope that we get today? All right, so let's check out the box design. It does say tarot ball power and we see little gears over here. We see the muscled bird. It says Mini, and then we have these characters over here. So this is a one of six chance, every single one of them. This looks like a little thumbs up. The muscled one also, that's good. And then the emo one is a one in 96 chance. So it is pretty rare to get, and you have to be pretty lucky. And here's what the rest of the box looks like. The design itself is really cute. And look at that, little muscles inside the machine. It is a really cute box, I do like it. So let's see what it looks like on the inside, okay. So we do get six little boxes and they all look exactly the same. My goodness, that is adorable. All right, let's set you aside and let's see our first experience. I'm really curious if we're going to be getting bags in this one and the answer is yes. Okay, let's try and avoid to see any kind of cards that are spoilers. So we have our baggie. There's an item here and it says please dot. So that's the brand. And our first one is, this is so tiny. We have Long Baby. My goodness. This one is entirely made of vinyl. Do you stand? You do stand. So we don't have any kind of fuzzy peach type texture. We just have a Long Baby over here. So cute. So tall. <laughs> and here's a close up of the face all the way around. And I'm not sure what these are. I'm going to guess that these are probably stickers to put under the feet. I'm not sure. Let's bring this out. So we do have the character card and I don't see anything else in here. Nope. So I'm going to guess that the tape is probably double-sided in order to keep the character in place if you're going to display it. Next box, what's confusing for me because this is an official product is that they have a holographic sticker on the side here, but it's not actually a sticker nor is it holographic. So I don't know if that's part of the joke or if it's, is it a fake? I hope it's not a fake. I don't think it's a fake. It's just, we have a an, an assemblance of holographic here. All right, let's see which one do we get. 
And let's avoid the card. And do we get... These bags are so easy to open. You are... The Muscle Bird! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I don't know what it is with me and muscle birds, but any muscled animal is... Uh, is it. It is... You need to get yourself a muscled animal. This is so wrong. There's even definition on the biceps. Oh my goodness, look at the size of these forearms. Holy shrimp. Here's the little bottom of the birdie. Here's it is, oh my goodness, the back of the arms. <laughs> the fact that these are fists instead of wings makes this even more ridiculous. And I just don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know. Oh my goodness, I love you, baby. There's not much detail to it. It's just a vinyl figure. It's just you can admire it and love it for what it is. And let's see the inside of the box. And it looks like we do have more of these stickers. So these double-sided stickers for display. And then we have the silica gel and the character card that looks like this. All right, technically we can still get a lot of these other ones and the super rare one, which is the emo baby at one out of 96. I have to say I really want the one with the thumbs up or the super colorful budgie. This one's cute as well. This set is not as exciting as the previous one, but they're still pretty cute. So let's open. Oh, nope, 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 nope. No, I don't want the papers. There. Here we have the double-sided tape and we have thumbs up baby so cute and it's winking too so we have the thumbs up this is nice i'm loving these all right let's move on to the next one there's really not much to say about these they're just cute nothing too weird and we have a silica as well as the character card again not much going on come on emo i know this is asking for too much to get the emo one but we'll just try anyways because why not maybe we could get lucky twice Okay, this one's pretty chunky. I feel like they're all pretty chunky. And you are. Oh, the super colorful one. You're adorable. Oh my goodness, and the details. Yeah, I knew I wanted this one just because of how vibrant. Is it crying? No, okay. I thought this was tears, but no, I think these are just the markings of the budgie. And again, we have the details over here. It is so smooth, this whole thing with the little budgie nose, little markings, and the super vibrant blue. Now, the only thing I can think of while looking at this is does it fit on the toilet? And the size difference is pretty big, but oh my goodness, this fits. This absolutely fits on the toilet. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking that. <laughs> but even though the size difference of these two burbs is quite significant, it's still, it's still poopsies. It 100% poopsies. <laughs> That's cute. So I might have to make some decisions here. Which one do I want there? We'll have to see. Actually, now I'm thinking, do I want the one with the thumbs up on the toilet? Oh, that one's not sitting well. That one's definitely not wedged in there. That is sitting on top. So I don't think we can have, maybe, hang on. Maybe if we lift that second part. No, it doesn't work. This one really is a perfect fit because the feet are towards the front. So this actually does work. So we don't get a thumbs up on the toilet. <laughs> And let's see our, this is double-sided tape, and our character card looks like this. All right, now that we do have the colorful one, we have a sitting down normal one or a penguin looking one, or of course the emo one. So we still have quite a few chances to try at this point. And let's open you. We shouldn't be getting any doubles, so I'm pretty comfortable with that. And what do you have? You are. Oh, the penguin looking one. Why does it look so angry? It definitely looks pretty angry. Why are you angry? Oh my goodness. Okay, there's nothing else to say. I feel like this is angry. All the others have a neutral type face or winky face, but this one's definitely, this one's going through things. And we have our double-sided tape. And in here, we have our character card. Feel free to pause on any of these in order to check out what it's saying. But for now, the translation is not the greatest, so I can't really tell what it's trying to say. And the question is, do we get the actual emo baby? This is, this is our chance here. Okay, we have this and we have this. It's pretty chonky, so I can't tell which one it is. Hard to tell, but you are the regular one. 
This one is very, very plain and very regular. Nothing wrong with that, just not the special one. I'm sorry. <laughs> And of course, the character card. And so here's everything that we got in both sets. Let me know which one is your favorite. If you want to watch more videos for weird people like crafts, make sure you check up here. If you want to catch more mystery boxes, make sure you click down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video. Because of the image at the front, I feel like I spit. I'm sorry. <laughs>